I want to show this technique called flicking because it's the way that I knit and it's almost a cross between continental and English knitting. I don't know how to describe it. I haven't met very many people who knit like this, but I wanted to shoot this video because I do get this question a lot. People wanting to know um, how how I do it and how they can knit like this. I'll tell you, I haven't always knit like this. I made a conscious decision, I think in my 20s, that I didn't want to let go of the right needle anymore. That I was going to pick up speed if I could still hang on to the right needle and get the needle wrapped at the same time. So if you've been knitting the normal right-handed way of letting go of the needle and wrapping it, um, you can do it too. You can just change the way you knit and force yourself to have that economy of movement which will pick up the speed. Let me show you. Okay, a normal right-handed knitter puts the needle in, wraps it, pulls it through, and lets go of the right needle each time. Okay, the way that I knit, whoops, I just did it the way that I knit. The way that I knit is I never let go of the right needle. I actually use this point right here as a pivot point, and I stabilize the tip of the left needle on, um, the tip of the right needle on my left finger. And when I do that, I pop the needle back and a little flick of my index finger, I get it wrapped and pulled through. So the needle is stabilized here, it's a pivot point here, I push, grab the yarn and pull it through. It's similar to how left-handed people knit or continental knitters knit because it's just uh, kind of grabbing the yarn and pulling it through, not really wrapping the needle as much. So again, it's in cock it back, grab the yarn, and pull it through. And then with purling, it's about the same thing. The only difference is that I'm holding the yarn in front. I've never heard of another name other than flicking for this technique, but this is how I knit and how to do flicking.